next Sunday will be Sunday of Christ, King of the Universe. The Sunday before Christ the King is called Sunday of the Poor, World Day of the Poor. And this feast, this observance, was entrusted to us, mandated to us by Pope Francis very recently. The poor are important in the kingdom of God. The poor are our pathway to heaven. If ignorance of scriptures is ignorance of Christ, neglect of the poor, abuse of the poor, use of the poor is neglect, abuse, and use of Christ. In relation to the poor, we have three kinds of relationships. Number one, we reach out to the poor because of stewardship. Stewardship is not ownership. The teachings of the church, the teachings of the gospel, all remind us that there is no such a thing as absolute ownership. We do not own anything absolutely. And the proof of that is, when you die, you are no longer the owner of your properties. If you can bring your properties wherever you will go after you die, that is absolute ownership. But the truth is, when we die, we also give up. So there is no absolute ownership because we are living on borrowed time, we are using borrowed things, we are living in a borrowed world, and everything and everybody has to make an accounting before God. So we serve the poor, we give to the poor, we share with the poor, because the poor are our co-owners 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 of our money co-owners of our properties co-owners of our talents co-owners of everything if we are co-owners only with the poor and stewards of what God has entrusted to us therefore everything is temporary the second reason for helping the poor after stewardship is service. Next Sunday, we are going to be reminded that we will all die. And when we die and have to face the Lord and be judged, the Lord is not going to ask us, how many times did you go to Mass? Or how many rosaries did you pray? The Lord is going to ask us, where were you when I was hungry? Where were you when I was thirsty? Where were you when I was lonely? Where were you when I was imprisoned? Because the Lord is going to say to us, whatever you do to the least of your brothers and sisters, you do to me. And therefore, the poor are not just our co-owners. The poor are our masters. In the military order of Malta, the members of the order say, the poor are our lords. Saint Vincent de Paul referred to the poor as our bosses, our masters. And what do you do to your master? What do you do to your boss? What do you do to your Lord? You serve. Therefore, service of the poor is not about you doling out. Service of the poor is not about you, you looking down on the poor. Service of the poor is actually we, all of us, looking up to the poor because the poor are our bosses, the poor are our masters, the poor are our lords. So the first S is stewardship. The second S, 
reminds us again and again that life on earth is temporary and therefore we will make an accounting to the Lord whom we serve among the poor. But the third is after service is self-interest. It is true. Self-interest. Why do I say self-interest? Because serving the poor keeps you healthy. Serving the poor prolongs your life. Serving the poor prevents you from getting sick. In a matter of speaking, my dear brothers and sisters, when we serve the poor, we also help ourselves. You know why? Because if you do not serve the poor, if you do not help the poor, if you do not give to the poor, many will become bitter and jealous against you. And eventually, you will also become bitter and jealous with yourself. You want to live long? Give to the poor. Because people who do not give do not get richer. People who do not give die early because they get sick in the soul early because their souls get afflicted with the cancer of greed, with the cancer of avarice, with the cancer of false security. And therefore, even if you are still breathing, you are already dead because you have lost the meaning of living and the meaning of living is in giving. Giving to the poor helps the poor, but giving to the poor helps you also. It keeps you healthy because in ignoring the poor, in abusing the poor, in running away from the poor, in being rude with the poor, you will get sick eventually, if not in the body, certainly in the soul. With the poor, we are stewards. For the poor, we serve. And because of the poor, we serve ourselves, our own need to stay healthy. The poor are our co-owners. The poor are our masters. And the poor are our healers. If you are sad, if you are unhappy, if you are not able to sleep, if you are less restless, if you are anxious, try giving to the poor. And God is going to heal you from that anxiety, from that restlessness, from that useless fear. Because the poor heal us. The poor are our masters. And the poor are our co-owners. We are stewards of the Lord. 